Hey all, Franco Matic here. I was gonna do a full feature on this pile of shit, but uh I discovered it wouldn't be worth for two reasons. One, it doesn't freaking deserve it. And two, it's Make most selection. of the games are interchangeable, as you'll see. I uh only show a few off from each of my little subsets. Here's the menu, and it looks like shit, just like everything else. The first set I like to call the total fuck-ups. They are Alfredo, and Jigsaw, which is, where is it, where is it, there it is on the last screen. You wanna know why they're total fuck-ups? Because you pick it. Because you pick it. And you hit your one player, it says level one, and there you go, it crashes. That's it, you have to restart and go through that horrible introduction again. Make your selection now. The voice is way too clear to be in an NES game, isn't it? Anyways, the next set is shooters. About 75% of all the games in this are shooters. If you pick a game at random, you'll probably find a shooter. Here's Star Evil. It's a pretty good uh, choice for showing off the shooters. It's a space game. You know, that kind of bullshit. There you go, and let's get it started up. And you immediately die because there's blocks there. So you gotta dodge the left or the right right off the bat. You don't even have to shoot these things, you just have to get to the end of the level. Notice that they fly inside of the walls and stuff sometimes. If you want to see a little trick here, if you just keep wailing away on the shoot button, it doesn't spawn any enemies until you stop. You, like, overload the sprite buffer or something. But anyways, continue on, avoiding the enemies or shooting them if they get right in the way or whatever. You will eventually... Where is it? Where is it? Come on, damn it. There it is, get to the boss. It's a big ship that doesn't shoot at you, it just takes a lot more hits to kill. See, he goes over there, so you follow him over there, and you can't do that! That wall kills you! Then you die again. You come over, and then I think at this point I just decide, you know what, fuck it, I'm gonna go do something else. Yeah. You hit start and select to leave any game you want. Next one I want to show you from this set is Critical Bypass. And there's only one reason I'm gonna show you this one. Look at it. I mean, hang on, let me pause it here. If you can look at that for more than 30 seconds without blood pouring out of your eye sockets, you are a stronger man than I am. Another problem with this one is how loose the controls are. Look at that. I'm barely touching the control the control pad, and I'm sliding all over the place. Another problem is that when you shoot, you can shoot in four directions, but you shoot in the direction you last moved, so it makes it really hard to line up shots. That mixed in with the slippy controls just leads to death after death. The next set of games I like to call blatant ripoffs. They were obviously inspired by other games. The first one on this list is right here on the first page. Yeah, there it is. Slide on over to it whenever I get over around to doing it. Damn, I was slow on this one. Sharks. Diver. Underwater. Shooting sharks in the ass with harpoons. Jaws, anyone? Yeah, they ripped off LJN's Jaws. I don't think I need to say anything more about this. And I just restart it again. Anyways, the next one up is called... Where the hell is it? Not on that one. Where is it? There it is, Billy Bob. What would you get if you mixed Indiana Jones with Prince of Persia? Whatever the fuck you want to call this. You jump up and down, climb around like Prince of Persia, run. Run. You have a gun, apparently. Now, see, the problem here is you can't fall at all or you die. And the problem with that gap, which I've never figured out how to get past, is you can't jump unless you're running. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. You can't jump unless you're running. And you can't get a running start there. And even if you do, like I did that one shot there, you still miss it. So I have no idea what to do there. So, fuck it.
The last one I want to show you out of this set is not in here. Ah, there it is, Ninja Assault. Check it out, it's Ghetto G Ninja Gaiden. You can attack your enemies by having some sort of seizure at them with your sticks, and it has really terrible voice. I mean, look at that. What the hell is that? You can do a flip jump, which is probably one of the best animations in the game. Eh, kill this guy, and I just say fuck it. Up next is the ladder games. First one I want to show you out of this... Uh, oh no, wait. First I want to go to Ooze to show you a prob another problem with the scrolling games. This is just ugly as all fuck. See, you can run. You can jump. But what happens when you try and run and jump at the same time? When you jump, all your forward momentum stops most of the time. This means that you're not going to make it over pits. What you gotta do instead is run, jump, and then while as soon as you hit the jump button, hit forward, or run, stop, jump, and then hit forward again as soon as you start going in the air. That's the only way you'll be able to carry yourself over the pits like this. Now watch, I try and do it running and jumping like a normal person would over this pit. You fuck up because you stop. So that's all I wanted to show you there. Up next is a set I like to call the Ladder Games, because basically they involve climbing around a bunch of ladders, killing enemies. These actually are some of the most enjoyable games in the set, because they really aren't that horrible. See, this one is Crybaby. I'm showing it to you mainly because it so looks like you're pissing on the enemies when you attack, doesn't it? I mean, seriously, check it out. Boom. I think it's supposed to be a bottle or something, but you climb up a furniture or ladders or whatever you got in the game here, and you just shoot enemies. Once you kill enough of them, eventually you move on to the next level. In this one, you might notice under my score, you actually have a health bar. In most of them you don't, you can only take one hit. But the only problem with these ones is that they get boring pretty quick. They're good for a little bit of mindless entertainment, and they're some of the least offensive in the game, but this is it. This is all you do. After you kill enough things, the level will change, but that's not really a huge incentive, because as you'll see, whenever that thing dies, there we go, it's not really that much different. Colors change, the enemies are the same, and the ladders are in different spots. The other one I want to show you out of this one is Hambo, for one reason. Check this out. You only get one life! Not only do they make a crappy game, you only have one life. Not only that, you can't defend yourself, and it has the same jumping problems as I showed you in Ooze. So I guess I didn't need to show you Ooze at all. Huh. Oh well. As you can see from the corner there, there's a 1-up. Those are fairly common in this, and it's a good thing too, because check it out. You can't fall down a floor. You die. If you touch the stationary things, you die. If you touch the moving things, you die. If you touch anything other than the floor, the ladders, or that door at the top, you die. Continue on to part two.